Peace, love, and light, Scorpios. I hope the sun is shining wherever you are and you're living in your greatest purpose. Scorpios, thank you for all your likes, comments, shares, and subscribes. We are on the road to 10K. Thank you for your support in getting there. Um, personal readings are being offered at this time. All information can be found in the community tab as well as the description box. Let's get into your messages. Okay, let's check to see. Um... messages hmm. okay <laughs> wheel of oh wait this is the fortune okay i keep saying fortune yet this is the full card showing up and there's information about perhaps fortune is gonna be coming up um it's gonna be showing up for you nine of pentacles queen of pentacles so the full card so this right here um i'm seeing that you're gonna be seeing some you're gonna be experiencing a lot of new beginnings with finances i'm seeing that for many of you this is going to put you in a new financial bracket there's something that's going to change your <laughs> this is gonna put you in a new financial bracket queen of pentacles showed up Hmm. there's something that you're doing that's putting you or going to be putting you in a new financial bracket oh look at that okay i'm seeing the father of earth show up this i believe is the king of pentacles let's see okay so yep yeah, it is all right um indeed this is going to put you in a new financial bracket so your spiritual team is letting you know that you're deserving of all the riches that are coming to you so this is an indicator of how your finances are going to look okay hmm Okay, so the Father of Earth energy is showing up. Okay, let's see what else. Um, I'm also seeing the Creature of Fire show up. This may actually be the Page of Wands. So there's good news coming for you financially. I'm also seeing the Empress energy. Okay, so um something that you're creative a lot of energy about your creative endeavors are showing up 16 i believe is the tower so this may be the ideas that are coming towards you that are going to change your financial bracket okay um let's see what is showing up regarding this this energy about being in a new financial bracket you know uh your spirit guys want you to be ready for that be ready to be put in a new financial bracket this is going to whatever you're doing um though so the full card is telling you that there's something that you're going to be recognized for and this is showing up again this is the second time today in a reading um that this is showing up for you that you're going to be recognized for something something that you're beginning um and this energy of the beginning i'm seeing that this is the beginning of a new financial bracket for you it's gonna put you something is gonna put you it's going to you're gonna be recognized for something you're gonna be recognized for this and it's gonna put you in a new financial bracket and as we speak um hmm queen of pentacles so that's that that's that recognition in a new financial bracket mm -hmm. 
the recognition and a new financial bracket is coming all right i'm also seeing uh you know there's some someone showing up in the background here this uh someone may be bitter <laughs> the devil card showing up with the ten of swords this may be an earth sign that may feel some type of way about your new financial bracket um Mm. Okay. Something is beginning. While someone is experiencing like um, a low, like a, someone may also be experiencing like a low, a low point in their lives, I'm seeing, or your spiritual team could be telling you that um, like this is the end of the moments of feeling like. You're lacking. Okay, so this is the tower. Um, I'm hearing, are you ready? This new financial bracket that's coming, that's going to give you. So this idea that you have, that's going to give you recognition and a new f and put you in a new financial bracket. Are you ready for that? Okay. I'm seeing that this represents the tower and your spirit guides are saying your life is on fire right now. It's about to great news. Okay. Great news is that the sun is going to rise. How are you going to handle it? This is the question. The worst thing you can do is resist the shifts that are coming your way. Hmm. So it's saying it's all crashing, but that's okay. Don't get numb or void. Feel your feelings, your trauma responses of fight, flight, freeze, or people pleasing will be in full effect. Know that this moment will pass and things will get better. So what you're experiencing at this time is that there's going to be changes that you're not familiar with and it may actually feel like things are things are getting sort of like chaotic and your spirit guides are trying to tell you that this is the beginning of something new. This is the beginning of something that is um going to put you or remind you or connect you to this empress energy that's showing up as the matriarch nature nurture the harvest so there's something that your spirit guides are wanting you to nurture so this is the empress it says i'm abundant nurturing fertile with possibilities you are fertile with possibilities and you're safe and blessed. <laughs> That's confirmation. Um, have faith in your ability to bring beauty, prosperity, harmonious relationships. Allow yourself to tap into your creative potential. Explore creative outlets. Nurture yourself and others with kindness, compassion, and love. Free yourself from needing to justify your existence you are heir to the fortune of wealth that the matriarch ancestor brings are you going to allow yourself to receive your riches are you going to allow these blessings to come in um so this new financial bracket that's coming is going to put you in a position where you have all kinds of possibilities coming for you and your spirit guides are asking you if you're ready for this. You may have asked for it, but 
Are you ready for it? This is the Empress energy. So you're going to recognize yourself as the Empress. And being put in this new financial bracket is also going to allow you to tap into a new aspect of yourself. You're going to see a new side of yourself perhaps you didn't see before as this empress perhaps it's also going to help you recognize just how powerful you are okay how abundant you are like the queen of pentacles and the empress showing up um i'm seeing it it, it really just equals financial abundance and not only the queen of pentacles um there's the king of pentacles too so this may also mean for some of you like you may actually come into a partnership where both of you are going to possibly work on something okay there's a there's a possible partnership that's going to change your financial bracket like some of you may have an idea you're sitting on an idea that's going to change um your financial bracket your spirit guides are wanting you to move on it uh don't sleep on that thing okay because this is the beginning that is showing up for you recognition um and this energy of abundance and as this king of pentacles your spirit guides are wanting to remind you to continue to like exercise this energy of reciprocity as you are giving or as yeah as you are giving also remember to receive what's coming because i'm seeing many of you are givers yet sometimes you may have a challenge receiving you know receiving receiving abundance receiving love okay your spirit guides are reminding you to exercise the energy of reciprocity okay giving and receiving yes you have given now it's time to receive okay and this energy of receiving it also means that you understand that you are deserving of what you are getting ready to receive okay you are deserving of what you are getting ready to receive um this this ancestor figure that's showing up it says father of earth comes forward as papa bois father of the woods um he lovingly and generously protects plant life and forest creatures um it says are you giving back enough this alchemist ancestor has the midas touch and turns all lead into gold papa earth has your back this ancestor is emotionally and financially secure many of our ancestors did not have this privilege um but where you are from is not the totality of where you're going so you're going places Okay, your spirit guides are wanting you to know that you are going places. And this creature of fire may also be connected to the abundance that's coming. All right, this is corresponding to the Knight of Wands. This is something that's motivating you to move forward. It's an energy that you have. All right. It says here in matters of love, you may not be able to distinguish love from lust and you may not care. This energy is irresistible in matters of career. Your lust for life is propelling you forward. Get ready for change. The moment is ripe to make shift happen. Um, the creature of fire is the animal spirit lion. Mm, this lioness energy has been coming out often too. Mbuya Nahanda channeled Mahandoro, an ancestral lion spirit, in her battle against the colonizers of Zimbabwe. Your spirit guides are asking you to get grounded, get to nature, um, put your feet in the earth, the sand, or the ocean, touch the grass. It's great to be bursting with energy, but calm down and take a moment. Um, some of you your spirit guides are telling you that you may be doing too much all right you're coming into the abundance um and with this energy of abundance it's important to get grounded okay it's important to get grounded let's see what actually let me look at this first 
Let me look at what else this Father of Earth is saying. Tell me more about this Father of Earth energy. Okay. Uh, King of Pentacles, victory. Victory in your finances. Victory in being abundant. Okay. As it relates to your ideas... You're going to be seeing a lot of progress moving forward. And this is actually going to feel like a rush for many of you. It's going to happen really fast. Um, what may be a challenge is assuring that you keep balance. Okay, you keep a balance in your relationships as well as everything else. <clears throat> Ooh, Ashe. Okay, make sure you keep that balance. Keep that healing energy as you're moving towards your goals and your wishes. Okay, let's see about this Empress energy. I'm seeing many of you. Many of you. Um, the Empress energy showing up with the, with the Sun card. It's like you are ripe. It's an energy of like you know like a like a beautiful mango being ripe and ready to um ready to to proceed ready to progress for many of you there's an energy of like childhood innocence showing up So as you are working on your creative endeavors, many of you may actually feel this energy of childhood and innocence. Okay. I'm seeing the Wheel of Fortune here may represent um, time for change. Like it's time for you to come into this new financial bracket. Like financially, I'm seeing many of you have suffered enough. You have, you know experience so much hardship it's time for you to come into like your power financially and your the universe is wanting to give this to you okay wanting to make whatever it is you touch turn into gold and this is what the uh father of earth was reminding you everything you touch will be turned into gold trust the process because these beginnings are happening really quickly here okay let's see <laughs> okay justice justice in your financial endeavors is coming all right let me see here what the um what your spirit guides are saying regarding this reading energies okay so kaitiaki which is number 10 is showing up so 10 which equates to the energy of beginnings okay the energy um that you're that's showing up for you is is an energy of beginnings let's see 10 kaitiaki it's saying um so search for ways you can express guardianship of the divine feminine your relationship with mother earth is sacred empowering healing you're destined to become more spiritually intimate with her, sharing in her creative potency and wisdom. Um, it's saying make peace and let go of past issues around being abandoned or not understood, feeling unsupported. Those experiences no, no need no longer color your worldview. Trust that you belong here and that your connection to the earth goddess will support you in all ways. If you feel that you are on your own when you would like some help, allow the Divine Mother to be your friend, guide, while trusting that more allies will arrive at the right moment. 
The Earth Mother has her own sense of timing and you are not forgotten. You are just growing according to her wisdom and grace. Have faith in yourself and in her. So as you are about to come into this new bracket, um, for whatever reason, like I'm not really picking up on much regarding this energy in the background i'm feeling like your spiritual team is just wanting you to know that as you come into this new financial bracket there's some like there's some there's some <laughs> energies uh perhaps from your past people who are watching people who are seeing you be recognized that you know may be showing up as like you know like haters Okay, and your spiritual team is wanting you to trust whatever process is happening to not put much worry into what's happening in the background because um, like you're you're getting something that you have always wanted. Okay, um, I'm hearing to not let the stuff happening in your background distract you from receiving the abundance and beginning that is coming for you that is your message if this message resonates please like comment share and subscribe until next time love peace divine light